We've had a lot of fun at Tales from the Tavern over the years, haven't we? Let's take a quick look at some of the 2022 highlights. A little triggered, because, y'all, the gelatinous cube is supposed to clean a dungeon. And you're going to go through a dungeon smelling like tomato or orange <laughs> or or strawberry? I'm going for mint. Pure winter fresh blast that thing is going to go through each corridor you're going to go in there it's going to be spearmint hitting your senses hard that's I that's you were trying to like say it that they were set a fruit them, and i was like we eat shrimp no no <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. let's not it it's it cleans it's a little it's a roomba it's a see-through Roomba that just goes through. If a Roomba was tomato flavored, we'd be eating them. Yeah. Oh my god, I <laughs> can't. True. I can't. That's Don't the follow dogs her. The dogs and cats Twitter. would be less afraid. <laughs> or more. <laughs> my cats would try to eat them. <laughs> I, I mean, maybe they're delicious. Oh yeah, least... improv is definitely a skill to develop. Not. What do you got to say? Oh, I was going to play off of what you were just saying there. Have you seen the vets when they have to birth a calf? They got the glove that goes up to here. Have a couple mm. of those handy as a, as a uh, DM. Yeah. Oh! Oh, it, it, no. He lives this in This entire conversation just took a turn I did not expect. <laughs> oh. Luna, I apologize. <laughs> this girl here is in folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me good. Oh, you got me so good. <laughs> Bose Bailey in chat just asked, how do you help a player become more comfortable actually acting as their character if they're not the acting type? Well, gotta say, props are useful. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually put it on this time. <laughs> yeah, right there, fellas. I'm having Amazing. bad visions, dude. Like, no. Amazing. Put your character on just like that glove. I will need a mine erase after this one. Uh, I will need a mine. Where's my, where's my men blank. in black flashy thingy? Um... I'm Commander Shepard, and Tales from the Tavern is my favorite stream on Twitch. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, and, and of course, I should go. I'm so excited. <laughs> Life is made. Right? That's I know. it. Everybody's Life like, could you, could you please ask for those? <laughs> It doesn't matter uh, how right you think you are. If the rest of the party is going to do the the bad thing, you ha you, you you have to let them because you can't stop them. <laughs> uh, real life applications. I would well. I mean, the very valuable rule that D and D teaches us is always have fifty feet of rope with you and a ten foot pole. <laughs> Man, that's you right. Can't... I gotta go repack that rope into my yep. bag before tomorrow. <laughs> You can't die by being clubbed in the head. It's only like three hit points. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Like, that's, <laughs> yeah, a, a, if you're being held up with a knife, that's only one d4 damage. It's not that much. It's not, yeah, but yeah. the problem is we're all zero all level. Yeah, exactly. Everyone is zero level. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're okay, all what, it'd be a d4 minus one or something like that, or d, mm. d4 minus two HP or whatever it was. <laughs> uh, around for a lot of Dungeons and Dragons and. The one thing that I would say 5th edition in particular is uh, has, has as an advantage is its accessibility. Mm -hmm. Now, we all know that all, you know Dungeons & Dragons is more popular now than it was even at its height in the 80s. Uh, and I think the accessibility of the 5th edition rules have a lot to do with that because it's very easy for new players to start and that just you know grows the popularity of the game. You've got lots of people playing it. Uh, and ultimately, yeah, so they... You know, leaps and bounds, leaps and bounds, and certainly in terms of societal acceptance. Let's face it, <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons has again come a long way in those terms as well. I lived through the height of the sat Satanic Panic, like that's when I was playing. That's you know, briefly having my Dungeons and Dragons books. Like, oh, I don't know, we'll put this away with all this heavy metal music as well. So you know, because <laughs> that was also under assault. So yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it all. I've seen it all. <laughs> a dungeon cleanup. Crew. <laughs> Isn't that what a gelatinous cube is for? Oh, so is it, I guess okay. it's a gelatinous cube. Just send them in. <laughs> yeah, let's just send them in. I Glad had someone liter <laughs> legitimately call it a dungeon Roomba one week. I mean, they're not wrong. <laughs> they're yeah, really not. Mean, it's just a big old dungeon Roomba. 
So, hey, Wolfblood uh, and Luna, y'all used to play uh, 3.5, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so there is this book called The Book of, you know, Erotic Uh, Fantasy, where one could use a set of (laughs) colors. <laughs> there they go. There it is. There it is. I know exactly what you're talking about. I love you. <laughs> that was like the perfect question to start off tonight with. Good. Dear God, I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you're stuck with me. Uh, Jen, you have to do it as a rice ball. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you have to tell me twice. Ready? I got Best this. Plan. I got this. All right. Prove of this. So, wait, did it freeze? Where'd it go? What happened? Mm. There, nope, it is. there it is. There you there go. Is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I am Jen. <laughs> These are the type of chaotic uh, shenanigans you can find on my stream. I'm Young Olds in chat, by the way. <laughs> um, and you can find me on Twitter at Jen Geeky. I have stuff coming up, but I don't really know what it is because I just say yes to things. So pay <laughs> attention to my Twitter. Like, <laughs> it's it's what? a well known fact. Big numbers make serotonin go and into a room. Hey, there's a sarcoph. Also, ironically, my centaur. Um, hey, there's a sarcophagus in here. None of us are strong enough to open it. Uh, rolled a strength check, was able to open it, open it, out pops a vampire who casts Slay Living, and now my centaur is dead. <laughs> so that was a thing that happened. It, did he keep hitting the centaur? <laughs> like, when it fell down, did he keep hitting it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. That's good, because you never want to beat a dead horse. <laughs> yeah. oh. I hate you so much right now. <laughs> I was like, this is going somewhere, and I don't want to know where it's going. There's there's a punchline coming any second now. Uh, (laughs) Sorry. You just couldn't resist, could you? I couldn't. I couldn't do it. (laughs) I still win. I got some spells, but like some good It will overpower any condiment you put in it. Incredible. Don't bother doing that. I broke my stool because I'm fat. No. (laughs) Your table stool. Oh, shit. (laughs) I super broke my stool. So we'd like to uh, change the charity over to the uh, surgery fund to get that (laughs) chair. (laughs) To get that chair removed from David's anus. I don't even. <laughs> oh, okay. when, when's your next? When's your next streaming content going up? Uh, next when, Sunday at the same time. So it. All right. Be... If by if by the end of next week's episode you've raised over two thousand, I'll run D and D for all y'all. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you heard it in chat. You heard it right now. There you go. No, I'm about to wait, 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 hold right on, hold now. on. Where's Where's <laughs> like Lord, Richter? Yours. Lord Richter? Lord <laughs> Richter. That's a, that's yeah, a week. You, you did sixteen hundred in three days. That's a week. For four hundred more dollars, if you if we get Chat. over the line, Chat. I'll do it. Chat. I have a superstition about dice to make them roll well. It's PG thirteen. That's fine. Uh, We're eighteen okay. plus here. Okay, and I swear it works. It works for everyone who does it. It's it's been experimented time and time again. Everybody who has dice in front of you. Give them a rub in your nips and then roll <laughs> oh. it. I, I was just trying to do. You, <laughs> it will be a better roll than you thought. Unless everyone rolls a one right now, in which case, I was just I'm about to completely call. wrong. Is it, <laughs> to go is it better when it's cold or warm outside? Does that affect it? <laughs> it's it's my, the weather. It's science. We we don't know the answers. We have to write the the results down. So if it's cold and the the results are bad, you tell me. If they're good, you I'm tell me. I'm, I'm cataloging warm. it. Moderately warm in here. Yes. I got a three. So I don't know. Oh, <laughs> there you go. All right. Let's, I, let's got nine a... I got so, a nine. I got a nine. Is it warm or cold? It was cold. The dice was cold. I was warm. Okay, so maybe we can't be warm when this happens. <laughs> That's the lesson. That's the lesson. We're I'm, learning, I'm people. We're learning. I mean, dice sorry, does Lauren, have ice right in it. I swear to God, it usually works. Uh, believe you. Oh really my do. God. I got that a 20. Makes too much sense. Oh, did you really? <laughs> I got a nat 20, yeah. Dang. And I'm cold. <laughs> It's science! Where's the Ron Burgundy gift? Somebody put it somewhere. Nice like um, ice. Oh my gosh, it's making too much sense. But anyway, that's 
Yes, thank you everyone for helping with that experiment. Now we know. And what now to this do. is an educational stream. <laughs> it's PG thirteen. Sorry, everybody. That was. <laughs> so, we meet at last. You, who have taken it upon yourself to take all the tacos from the bell and take them away from me. My plans for these tacos from the bell will not be stopped by the likes of you. For as you see, you forgot about the burritos. The burritos are more powerful than the tacos. And with the power of the burrito, <laughs> I will reign supreme. But that is the next type of taco <laughs> in my arsenal. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it for right. For uh, right uh, sir, <laughs> sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> no, no, my old nemesis, Wendy. Lord Richter says, "Come on, Dan, use me as your focus." <laughs> uh, now I need a topic first. Give me something. Cheesy poofs. <laughs> Oh, okay, so we have Cheesy Poofs. Take the gummy bears for, uh, for me. Uh, the difference between alligators and crocodiles. Uh, pooping is pooping inevitable. Is inevitable. <laughs> Peanut butter. Okay, I'm going to see if I can weave all that together. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Match right. promo. All right, all right, all right. Let me get some water here. <laughs> we all poop. Your Cheesy Poofs. Your peanut butter. Your alligators and crocodiles, we all poop. No matter what you eat, what creature you are, you poop. It may not come right away. It may not be now. And I might be then. It might be runny. It might be dry. It might hurt. It might not. But everyone poops. Me, the bad guy, and you, the heroes. I've seen you out there in the woods late at night. You've had a little delicacy at the campfire. It didn't sit well with your stomach, a little gurgle, a little pain, <laughs> and then, oh, oh, it burns. And out in the woods you are, there you are, pooping. And there I am in the tree, watching, gathering intelligence for this amazing speech. You in the outhouse, that wasn't an outhouse. That was me shapeshifted as an outhouse to gather your poop. Everyone poops, and you will now pay for it! <laughs> I was waiting for you to bring in the Haribaro, like, sugar-free gummy bears for that oh. last part. Oh my god! Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whew, okay, I did not think I could do that, but here we are. Here we are! <laughs> We're not oh worthy, sir. We're right? not worthy. And that's why I need things to <laughs> feed on. And once I have it up here, I can do something. All right, Matt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was surprisingly not crappy at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> a real, a real humdinger there. Everybody in their own way really is is memorable because there's a lot of times like somebody will be like, oh yeah, so and so on Twitter, and I'm like, oh yeah, I had them as a guest. So it, there's a lot of people that even though I may not interact with them regularly, I still remember having them as a guest at some point. Mm -hmm. um, so. You know, everybody, everybody left their mark in their own way. <laughs> That's my Aww. diplomatic answer. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Joel Baker, uh, Baker in, in chat just said, in a way, they're all winners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but gun to your head. Who is your favorite? Yeah. Luna, off who's your favorite? Fence, Mark Mir. Off the fence. <laughs> <laughs> no hesitation. I mean, <laughs> can, can you really blame that answer? Can you really? <laughs> I think that's the real answer. Yeah, Commander Shepard, yeah, we're all toast. It's not a wrong answer either. No. <laughs> no. We do know that uh, the show is... It's been a pretty great ride over the last few years. Thanks so much to all of you for all of the love and support you've shown this amazing stream. This community never ceases to amaze me. I'm so grateful I have been a part of it for as long as I have. Keep a light on at the tavern, guys. I'll see you around. <laughs>